Hi guys and uh, welcome to this tutorial. This is actually our first application in Java. This is where things get interesting. So in this tutorial we're going to actually create a simple program that calculates the area of two shapes. A circle or um, a rectangle. All right. So we're going to apply all the concepts that we learned throughout the previous tutorial. So let's get started. So, first of all, what we're going to want to do is actually import java.util.scanner because we're going to obviously take user input, right? So, before our um, class definition, we're going to write import java.util.scanner, all right? Great. So right now, we're going to actually ask the user to enter or to choose whether he wants to um, calculate the area of a circle or a rectangle. All right. So we're going to type in here system.out.println1 circle. And then backslash n to create a new line to rectangle and then backslash n and we're gonna type in here please enter a number all right let's remove this space right here okay we should be good to go so right now we're expecting the user to enter whether one or two for a circle or rectangle. And one and two are obviously integers. So we're gonna create an integer variable right here. We're gonna name it int choice. Alright. And its value is gonna be first of all, we need to define our um, scan or scanner object. So I'm gonna type in here scanner scan is equal to new scanner and I'm gonna give it the system dot in as we learned previously so scan dot next end so this is gonna read our choice so right now we have the choice whether circle or a rectangle so we're gonna type an if condition or an if statement so if choice is equal equal one then what we're gonna want to do is actually calculate the area of a circle right else or let's just type else if choice is equal equal to two then we wanna calculate the area of a rectangle Otherwise, then the user entered an invalid choice. So this is an invalid choice, right? Okay, so let's start with the circle. So actually, we have to ask the user to enter the radius of the circle. So we're gonna type in here system out the print line. Please enter the radius of the circle okay and the radius of the circle we're expecting it to be maybe a double so we're gonna create a double variable double r which stands for radius is equal to scan dot next double and then we're gonna calculate the area so double area is going to be equal to so the area of the um, of the circle is actually pi r squared right so we're gonna type in here math the pi in capital letters just like this multiply by r multiply by r right so this is pi r squared so this is our area and then we're gonna want to print out the area so system the out the print line 
area, right? And then we're gonna put in our area just like this. So this is our area of the circle, right? So let's now do the same for the rectangle. So first of all, we're gonna print out system dot out. Oops. Dot print line. Please enter the length of the rectangle, right? And then we're expecting the length. So double L is equal to scan the next double. And I'm gonna copy this and make the same for the, the width, right? Please enter the width of the rectangle. And then double area is equal to L multiplied by W. And then system dot out dot print line area and then our area variable and in this invalid choice case we're gonna actually print system dot out dot print line you entered an invalid choice okay so that's it for our program so once again we're gonna ask the user to choose whether a circle or a rectangle to calculate the area of and then if the user um, chooses a circle then we're gonna ask him for the radius and then print the area of the circle if the user chooses a rectangle then we're gonna ask him for the length and the width of the rectangle and then calculate its area and if the user entered an invalid choice then we're gonna tell them that he entered an invalid choice so let's run this let's choose a circle for example so one let's enter the radius 2.5 here we go this is the area let's run it again and choose a rectangle and let's enter 2 5 and then we get the area 10 and let's enter an invalid choice 3 for example you enter an invalid choice so that's it guys for our first Java application and see you in the next tutorial